Konnichiwa o Karinasai to my Fallout 4 role-playing series. In this little video, I'm going to talk about my favorite weapon, the combat rifle, in this particular configuration. This configuration will feature a hardened piercing auto receiver, a long light barrel, a recoil compensating stock, a large quick eject mag, a muzzle brake, and a reflex sight with the circle reticle. I really like this, it reminds me of a BAR or something like that. And the combat rifle, I think, is one of the best weapons I have in the game, particularly in the 45 caliber variant, because the ammunition is common and it's plentiful throughout the game. And if you get an automatic version, which I generally don't use automatic weapons in the games uh, if it's a more powerful weapon, but for something like, like this, if you put a compensator on it, it's very controllable. If you can get a large mag for it, like the 40 round mag like I have, it's a good way to go. And I'll use this weapon oftentimes as a stock you know, stock wooden weapon with no muzzle device with a 40 round mag and a reflex sight. But this version is just a little bit better. A few little upgrades that, 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 re that really make the weapon. Uh, and it's great. It gives you, a, you have a good rate of fire, good volume of fire. And the 40 round mags help a great deal. Now, the optic I'm using on this is the reflex sight with the circle reticle. It does have good contrast against dark against uh, you know, dark spots. It washes out a little bit against the light, which is, uh, it, it's realistic to actual reflex sights. Like, like the Trigicon reflex sights or the Meprolite M21s. I mean, they all kind of wash out a bit. And so it's kind of cool that it does it in this game. It wouldn't really have to. Uh, but they've chose to make it that way, and I'm not sure if they did it intentionally or what. But it is pretty cool. If you're looking looking at something like this green car or something like that, you'd have a hard time tracking it, especially if you're moving quick. You can pick it out a bit if you concentrate. But if you're shooting fast and you're trying to track a moving target, it isn't the easiest to do. But generally, I found that it's not a huge problem. And the situations are going to come where it's hard to see. Uh, it, there just aren't that many. So I'm just going to you know, move up here. I've, I've said I, I really like this gun. It's a great gun. And the combat rifles are a lot like the pipe weapons. They're available. And I would th say those two weapons, in my experience, can be configured in so many ways to do so many jobs. You can see this receiver gives, gives great damage. I didn't expect these mutants to walk up when I started the video, but I got pretty lucky. So we're going to fight it out here. And you can even put down the suiciders, and that's, you know, especially late game. When you start getting the suiciders a lot, you definitely want to have something that can put them down. Yeah, this guy here is going to be a bit tougher. The 40, He really eats up the 45, and so I'm going to chew through a lot of ammo trying to, trying to put him down. I think I'm overthrowing these grenades. Now with this, I think I'm going to start start moving every, every, every mag chain. Just to try to get around them. Keep myself moving. Especially in this game, it's kind of important. Because the enemies oftentimes will move. have to cut in some new video. This guy's this guy's pretty tough. I think at this point I should probably upgrade Kate's weapon too. It was doing her pretty good for a while, but I, th I think it's kind of inadequate now. This is looking inadequate against this this boss here, but you know, in in perspective, you're going to run into a lot of raiders and and gunners, and this weapon is perfectly good against them. It's only now and then that it's hard to use. You can see how, how quickly I dispatched the first two. 
And now this guy's done. Sayonara, buddy. Go up and check on him and see how I did. But, uh, this was just my favorite weapon. I kind of wanted to show it off. I don't know. I'd like to hear what everybody else's favorite kind of go-to weapon for the place playthroughs is. Uh, some people may settle on, uh, on assault rifles or something like that, or perhaps laser weaponry. I doubt anyone's going to a pipe a pipe rifle as their go-to uh, for all the playthroughs. Though I had some success in the, my last uh, junk weapon video with an automatic pipe rifle. Uh, if we if we look at all the other pipe weapons that I've used and we 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 we'd stretch that out, the net suckage is is pretty bad. They're pretty terrible weapons. But thank you for watching my video. This was a short one. If you like it, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. If you don't like it, you know, tell me in the comments that it sucks. Any feedback. Uh, is good feedback, I think. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.